Alright guys, so before the video starts, I would like to um, say something. So I recorded two episodes um, before I even started editing one. And then I looked back on episode 4, which is this video. But the episode 4, that was this. And I saw that it actually, ha half of it was corrupt. So I'm not going to use that episode as... Um, as an episode since half of it was corrupt so what was episode 5 is now episode 4 um and what we did in episode 4 is we built a secret santa um and people would sign up for for the secret santa um in the community and we built the mumbo jumbo christmas tree um i'll actually run well you'll see it in the next clip but um so yeah, and then we got uh, Diamond Gear and more other things. And yeah, so I'm recording this after I recorded episode 5. So some things in my inventory kind of look confusing right now. But yeah, so this will all be explained in that. But yeah, so what we missed is we got like a mansion map and some other things in episode 4. Sorry for that noise, that's my caps lock. And yeah, so enjoy the video. Guess who's here? This guy, Sky. How is everybody doing today? Welcome to episode 5 of the Sanctuary SMP. And yeah, so I have got the rank of YouTuber for posting 5 episodes of the Sanctuary. So now I can do third person time lapses, and you will see one in this video. So mainly, what we will be doing today is transforming the sugarcane farm right here into a automatic sugarcane farm with a design that i used so right now i'm going to hop over into a creative world and show you this the design that i made in creative using the new 1.11 so see you there all right guys and we're back and so i am in my test one of my testing worlds and here is the machine that I got. As you can tell, it is very big and extendable. The reason why there's no thing there is because there is a repeater there. The whole circuit is really cheap. This is the main circuit right here. So it's two observers and three pieces of redstone, and then redstone below this observer. And it's extendable. So as soon as this reed grows to three high, it will push all of them. And then the hopper minecart will come and pick up all the items that it has left. Since it only has a couple slots in it, it will take us a bit for it to come back. But we will eventually pick them up. You could also do this alternatively with a water stream, but you'll have to stop more because of it. As you can tell, it is picking up. Maybe. Um, but yeah, so, okay, it picked it up, it's inventory. But yeah, so as soon as the one at the end grows to, grows to three high, it will harvest all of them. So, I'm going to be building this on the sanctuary in a third person time lapse. Also, I'm going to... Be building more than just one module because you can extend this as far out this way as you want but i honestly want to probably stack it on top and do another observer module at the beginning and just have it fall to the same area um so yeah i think i'm going to gather the materials on the sanctuary now that i need i'm going to need a lot of materials this is fairly cheap, but it's still going to require a lot of things since I want to stack it on top. And you, this isn't the exact size that you have to do. Shoot, you can stop or you need the repeater. But I think I'm going to go out until this repeater its strength and go that far. So it'll probably be about 32 long. So yeah, I will see you once I have gathered all the materials. And we're going to be doing this again where the blue district one is, so it'll be public for everybody. And yeah, so I'll see you once I get all the materials. 
Alright guys, I have gathered all of the materials here that I think we will need <clears throat> to make it. If I need any more, then I I guess pause the time lapse. I think it's time to kick it into the third person time lapse. Get my alt account on here, put them up in the sky, and watch me create. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you enjoyed our first first person third person time lapse. I thought it was cool. We now have this 
sugar cane farm. I finished up some of the finishing touches. Um, it is now actually the day after. Sorry for that noise. Caps lock. So yeah, so it's now the day after, and I AFK'd a little bit last night fishing. Um, I've been in the nether, and a lot of things have actually happened. There. I'm going to explain. So we have a lot of sugar cane now. I took, I got rid of all this sugar. That was back here because we now have this. So last night, me and Crazy Rhino were talking. He is the person who lives up on top of this, not the temple right there, but this kind of castle. Level. And we are, we're actually good friends on the server. Um, we have decided to base up together because we have similar interests like redstone contraptions. Oops, I took some damage. So his base is this and this. Um, that's kind of like a shop-ish area where you pay to get food. Or pay to go in and get food. Diamond, you stay in there all the time. But yeah, so he's letting me also share with him the villager breeder in there. But so we actually found the mansion map that I got in the previous episode. One of the previous episodes. It, um, we found the mansion and we made a nether portal there and we're actually going to base up there, both of us together. And we also found, found ice like Looks pretty cool. We're gonna open up a uh, pressed ice shop. Back ice. I think will be really cool. So yeah, I'm going to head to the base now because we kind of want to keep it a little secret right now because we still haven't beat the mansion. So yeah, I'm actually gonna hit, grab an ender chest. From I'm making ender chest. Go there. Going down there. There we'll go. Yeah, we'll go. Alright, so yeah, we'll see you there. Hey guys, welcome back. And I'm at the mansion right now. <laughs> Our portal is literally at the doorstep of it. Um, so, the mansion, uh, Mr. Crazy Rhino, who's not on right now, because it has been a couple of hours later that I'm recording this, I did not get an inner chest. But as you can see, I got a bunch of packed ice. Because we found a packed ice biome yesterday, we're going to be opening up a packed ice shop. That might be a time lapse for next episode. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, so here's our mansion. Rhino's gone in and lit it up with pump jack-o'-lanterns. Yeah, so I just want to show you guys one little quick thing. Um, and Maybe you down in the comments section below, or if you're on the sanctuary, just DM it to me, or say something in random or general chat. Who would shade? Did you? Would you like shaders in some of my videos, like when I show off something? So I can show shaders. It just takes a minute. On, and as you can tell, it everything looks beautiful. Um. But it's it's really up to you guys. Like I wouldn't use them every episode because just I would just do it when I'm showing say I'm showing off the mansion. Now how beautiful it is. Really awesome. Um but there's one thing I want to show you guys at the very top of the and so pop up here. Right here. So this room right here is a spider spawner at y equals 96. So we're gonna build it into a um into a AFK farm, automatic farm, so it kills it, or if you flip a switch, it turns into an XP grinder. I think this is gonna be a really awesome farm that we're gonna make. And Rhino sells string in one of his, uh, one of his, the shops because he has a, a double AFK automatic cave spider spawn. So this one's a regular spider spawn too. And we have a lot of cobwebs, so I'm gonna silk touch them because cobwebs are really good. But yeah, so they're kind of hidden behind these guys. 
So you might want to be look on the lookout for things like this on staircases. If you're going to a mansion yourself, if you're on, even even if you're not on the sanctuary, um, be on the lookout for those little wool faces, and behind them could be like a. I think will be. Yeah, so that's it for the base right now. We have plans, but we have not finalized on them. We're thinking maybe tear, uh, like tear out the interior to keep some of the walls and have like AFK fish farms and other farms in here. So while we AFK the spiders will be spawning or something. Um, and clearing out the area tonight. Uh, Rhino is going to be doing so, doing a lot of it. So again, I won't be doing everything at this base. So a lot of it won't be in my video but a lot of it rhinos um as i'm basing with the person and he doesn't get on till around nine o'clock my time because uh he lives in australia so yeah all right so we ran out of time today guess who's out this guy sky peace